everyone, this is me, you the creator of Fun and Draw. Welcome to another Fun and Draw tutorial. Today is going to be Fun and Draw Charlie Brown as a cute Fun and Draw cartoon. He's part of my Fun and Draw movie characters playlist. The link is at the end. And be sure to check back this Saturday for my new special announcement. This is something I've been working for you guys for a long time and I hope you like it. This also has a special drawing. Okay, for Charlie Brown today, I like to start with his bean-shaped face. Because he's going to be in my fun to draw style, let's start with a big curve. So I'm going to start right around here. Like that. And right here, I'm going to start a smaller curve. So maybe right around there, it's going to be part of the cheek. So I'll draw this now so you can see. It's going to come around like that. And now what I want to do is I'm going to take my pen and go across the chin all the way across and then I'm going to curve up a little bit towards the cheek on this side. So curve around the chin area. I'm going to extend this curve a little bit more. And now I'm curving up towards this side of the face. Okay. Now that I have this area of the face drawn, I like to draw a cute little ear as the letter C. Just on the side right there. Like that. Okay. Now, let's draw a big curve coming around the back and then all the way towards the front part of the curve that we started with. So I'm going to take my pen and just draw a big curve. Curve around, curve around. and then draw it towards that line. So now we have his big round head, which is excellent. <laughs> okay, for the inside part of the face, let's start with a cute little nose. So for my fun draw style, I'm just going to draw the nose like this. That's a cute little round nose right there. It's quite low on the face. And Charlie Brown has a really cool big smile, but for this tutorial, because he's in my fun to draw style, I'm going to draw the smile a little bit smaller, but still very cute. So something like that. There we go. And after we have the nose and the mouth, we can start on his big fun to draw eyes. To start, Let's draw the cheek lines. So I like to draw a big curve near the smile. So this is the first cheek line. The second will be on the other side of the nose. And I'll draw something like that. A little bit longer. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to start with this side of the eye. So let's dot the spot right around there. And from this dot, I'm going to take my pen and basically just want to draw a curve from this dot. I'm going to curve all the way down until I meet the cheek line that I drew. So let's do that. There we go. So we have the one curved line for the fun and draw eye. And the second line will come out the other way. So basically it's going to come around like that. Curve around and then go down towards this line here. So curve around the middle part. And then come down. Okay. 
Let's draw one more curve in the eye for this side. So again, right around this top part here, go down as a curve like this. Okay. This narrow space will be quite dark for this side of the eye, so I'll shade it in. make this part a little bit taller. I think it'll look better. And I'll make this part a little bit thicker. There we go. Okay, so once we have this shape, let's go into the other side right here. Let's do something similar. So I'll dot the spot. I'll go down as a curve. I'll go down the other way as another curve. Okay, let's draw one more curve for the side of the eye. Like that. And then I'll shade in this area. I'll make this a little bit thicker too. So it stands out better, I think. Okay, now we've got to get the pupils in. So let's draw a big curve starting from maybe around here. And then I'm just going to curve down, go all the way down, and then curve around right around here. And just connect it. There we go. So we have the one big pupil. Let's do a highlight just for some extra shininess in the eye. So the highlight can go up like that. And then to shade the fun to draw eye, I like to start with a diagonal line. It's going to go up like this. Okay. This area will be nice and dark, so I'll shade it in. Okay, now I'm just going to draw a few more lines inside to complete the shading. So I'll dot the spot so you can see where I'm going to start the first line. There we go. I'll dot the spot again for the second one. It's a little bit shorter. And then the third line will be the shortest, so I'll dot the spot. And draw the line. Okay. So we have his big fun to draw eye all done. For this side, I'll go a little bit faster. So we have the big pupil for the pupil there and the highlight. Okay, once we have that, let's do the shading. So just like before, I'll start with a diagonal line. There we go. Shade in this area underneath the highlight. So the highlight looks very bright compared to the dark part of the eye. Okay. And now let's just get in those three little lines inside. So dot the spot, draw the first line. Okay, the second line begins there. And then the third line, right around there. There we go. Make that a little bit neater. Okay. Good job, everyone. You're doing great. So we have his eyes all done. Now let's draw a cute little... He's got this little hair design. I think it looks like a little W, so I'm just going to draw something like that. Like a curve. Let's start with a curve first. And then I'm going to go in just a little bit towards the forehead. I'm coming back in. It's going to look like a stylized W. For the loop in the W, I'm going to go around just a little, just like that. So we have this loop part in the middle. Now I'm curving out again, but this curve is slightly smaller than that one. 
and then just extend that. There we go. She's got this little W piece for the hair. I think that's so cute. And one more thing we gotta do. Let's get some simple eyebrows. So I like to draw them just as a curve. So that's one. The other one will go right around here above that eye. Okay. So we have Charlie Brown's cute face all done. Now for the body. This is what I like to do for this tutorial. Let's start with the opening of the shirt. So I have it right down here underneath the chin. And for the actual body, I'm going to keep everything really small and short for a cute look. So I'm going to draw a line coming down a little bit. This is going to be part of the arm. So I'm going to draw something like that first. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. And for the other side of the body, I like to draw another line very similar and it's going to come around down like that. Okay, so I'm going to stop right around there. Now for the this line here, let's continue that just a little bit and then I'm going to put some little fingers at the end to make that the arm. So I'm going to come around into the first finger. As you can see it's just a little bump. Let's repeat that a few more times for the other fingers. So I'm going to draw another small little bump, like that. And then one more for this tutorial, just another little bump. Like that. And then I'm going to come up all the way towards the body to make the arm. So maybe let's dot the spot. There we go, so you can see where I'm going to end. And then just draw a line going up towards that dot. Okay, so we have the arm. Let's draw a line across the arm to make the sleeve. There we go. So just something like that. And then for the rest of the body, let's draw a line going across for the end of the shirt and then underneath the end of the shirt let's just draw very 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 short little legs he's got such cute short legs so I'm just gonna extend this line a little bit for the shorts let's go on to this side the back side and just draw another short little line let's make that match more there we go Okay, now let's go across the legs of the shorts. So I'm going to go across like that. Make that a little bit longer. I'll go up just a tiny bit. I'll go across a little bit. And then down here again, let's just finish up the leg. Once we have the shorts all done, let's draw some short little legs and then the feet. So I'm coming down into very, very short curves for the ankle area. I like to curve for part of the shoe, which is coming up. And for the actual shoe, I'm just going to draw a shape like a long oval just right around there for the first shoe. So let's start. This is a curve. This is part of the heel. Now I'm going to curve out and then I'm going to come back in. So curve out like that. Come back in. There we go. Okay. 
I'll do something similar on this side for the leg. So again, just two short little lines for the ankle. A little curved part for the shoe. And then the actual shoe comes out and goes back in as a curve. Okay, so something like that. Let's draw two more little lines for the socks. So this is how I'm going to draw it. Just a line going across the ankle like that for the socks. And do the same thing for this leg. Okay, we're almost done. So we need one more thing, which is the arm, and then we'll do the little designs in his shirt. So the arm will come just down just a little bit you're not going to see the whole thing because it's going to be hidden mainly behind the body so i just have a long curve coming down and then it goes back towards the side of the body okay let's draw a little short line inside for the sleeve like that he's got a little collar so for this tutorial i just like to design it like this I'll simplify the line as a bent line on this side. And then for this side, it's going to be the same line but just facing the other way. So I'll draw it coming down, maybe right around there. Okay, there we go. Okay, of course, let's get in the zigzag pattern for his shirt. So, first I just like to do a line like that. So it looks like an upside down V. And basically I just want to repeat this across this part of the belly. So I have the first upside down V. And then I'll just do another one and then one more. Okay, let's just make that a little bit thicker to make it look more like his shirt. Okay, looking good everyone. Please subscribe so you won't miss new videos I have every week. There you go!